Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Stonehenge. Alright, we're going to start over here on the left. We're going to take two fingers and put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a curved line down, slightly wavy line over, curved line up, and we're just going to leave it floating. We're going to come back to the left, put a dot. From that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line down, wavy line across. Come right next to that dot and put another dot. Now, I'm going to draw another slightly wavy line down. Bring it all the way down. Bring it over, up, over, and connect. Now I go back to my first dot and I bring that slightly curved line over, down, and connect. I come back over here to the left and I'm going to draw slightly curved line, wavy line over, curved line, wavy line over, and connect. Okay. Now I come right next to what I just drew. Right about here, I'm going to put another dot, and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down, over, slightly curved line up, and connect. I'm going to draw another curved line, wavy line down, over, and connect. I come right over here on the left, and I draw straight line, curve line in, connect, straight line, curve line over, down and connect. Come back over here to the left and we're going to draw a slightly curved line down, curve line in, connect. These are all going to be kind of wavy curve lines and in strange positions because these are rocks. These are giant rocks. Okay, I come right next to that one and I put a dot and now I draw a slightly curved line down, bring it over, up, in, connect, right next to it put a dot, slightly curved line down, wavy line over, up, over, connect. Right on top, we're going to draw a slightly curved line over, keep going, jump over, don't draw through your rock, over, up, and connect. Right next to that, put a dot, and we're just going to draw a curved line, slightly wavy line down, curved line over, slightly wavy line up, and connect. Come right back over here on the right, draw a slightly curved line down, over, up, connect. We come up just a little bit higher and we're going to put a dot. And from this dot we're just going to draw slightly curved line down, bam, it crashes into this. Come down a little bit, bring it up, in, connect. Right next to that, Let's start right here, put a slightly wavy line, curve line up, down, over, connect, come up on top, slightly wavy line over, jump over, don't draw through your drawing, curve line up, straight line, curve line, wavy line, connect. All right, now come all the way back over here to the left, and what we're going to do is we're going to complete this circle line. So I draw a curve line up, jump over, continue the line. Curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line, curve line, jump over. And I guess we can bring this up, curve line. 
Now I come over here on the back and I'm going to draw straight line down, jump over, straight line, connect, straight line over, straight line down, connect, straight line down, connect, jump over, straight line, and right here I'm going to put a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. Okay. These are the ruins. Okay, so these don't have the complete circles that the uh, Stonehenge has, but these give you a good idea of what the ruins look like. All right, I'm going to come up to the top and I'm just going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, connect. Come up here, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. We're going to overlap, curve line, curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line, connect. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is depending if your stone is going vertical, you're going to have some gray lines going vertical. But when you do the stone that's on top, this color line should go horizontal. You're going to put a little bit of gray on each one of the stones. These stones are from the Bronze Age. That is so old, I can't even tell you how many years. But we're going to put a layer of gray on the stones. We're going to do it by directional. This is part of it. This is part of it. Now when it was initially built, it had complete circle rows of bigger stones, littler stones, but this is what's left. Okay? Once I get my gray on, I'm going to come over it with brown. And I can do a loop-de-loop -loop line over the gray so you get that double colored look of the stone. Okay, so we're going to do this double color all the way. Now you're going to do a way better job than me. You're going to take your time, color in each one of the stones the right direction, really do a thorough job. Okay, bring it down all the way and all the way over. Okay, they think that this was a burial like a burial mound or a, like a cemetery almost. Okay, next is England, so it's very green. So I'm going to use my light green on this inner section. Okay, then I'm going to use my dark green for the lower part. And I'm just doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. And if you want, you can put a little bit of the dark green on top of the double light green. Okay? Then, the whole entire monument is in the beautiful English countryside. And it's got a crystal blue background. So I'm going to go over my cloud, around my clouds, around my monument, and color this in really blue blue. Okay? Now, you can add more stones if you want. You can make it more. Don't forget the little parts of the blue sky down here. This is all blue. Um, you can add more stones make it a more complete look, but this is the ruins. This is like what's left right now. Okay? Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Stonehenge all colored in. England knew that this was an important monument, so I think like in 1882 they declared it a national monument. You couldn't mess with it. And you can't really get up close to it nowadays unless you take a special uh, tour that only 26 people at, at a time can go actually inside where the stones are. Very interesting. Okay, bye-bye.